Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 4. Last time, we finished up Blossoming Arcadia. We one hundoed it. Dingo, you owe me something. Thank you. So now we need to 100% another area to appease him. <laughs> but yeah, today we're going to be going to Serene Shores. It's going to be a rough one, but I'm ready. I am ready. Hmm. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just improve his swimming. But Ochi being able to just take out stuff things in one hit. Yeah. Plus, I'm not gonna need the swimming immediately. Mega Rush, warn you, this one's not easy. Yep, it will stun creatures and energy charges up faster, too. This, yeah, I'm not gonna need it immediately with what I'm planning to do today. Okay, and then visit the lab. New prototype. Mine, Trachinator, a bomb that always tracks its prey and never loses it. <laughs> In the wild, I'd much rather be the chaser than the chasee. That could be useful. Hmm. Okay. A running tally of idle Pikmin. That could be decent enough. What's the new things? Triple threat? Oh, yeah, allows me to punch. Air armor reduces Ochi's damage. There's a lot of stuff I have not been getting. Um, I've never used one of these. Particularly fast creatures. I'll give it a shot. Oh, I did not mean to back out. Okay. I'll buy this because I know ice is going to be coming up as well. And I will save my materials. I kind of want the idle counter. Now, I'll save just in case, because I know there is some bridge building that goes on here. At least I recall, at least. That was redundant to say at least twice. Alright, well. We got new enemies to get some info on. At least I thought we did. Oh, yep, here we go. Burrowing Snagrid of the Snavian family. Instead of the sky, this scaly anomaly flies through the ground. When it pops its head to the surface, the way its crown of feathers fluffs. Though intended to make it more intimidating, it's delightful to behold. But be wary of lingering to gaze at it, as you'll likely get the poking of a lifetime from that long, sharp beak. Yeah, I lost three Pikmin because of it. Puffy Blowhog. See those prominent spines upon its back? I like to imagine that if you looped ropes through them and hung a gondola from the ropes, you'd create a living airship. How amazing it would be to travel the sky with one of these spiky sweetlings. We'd float along together wherever the wind chose to take us. Oh, I actually didn't encounter as much as I thought. That was really my first candy pop? Huh. Alright. The longer I look at it, the more I feel a strange urge to throw something into it. Succumbing to the intrusive thought, I once threw a bomb into one. When I did, Patui, spit the bomb right back out. 
I can't help seeing some sort of lifelike response in that. And burgeoning spider ward of the pellet weed family. And that's of the candy pop family. And this fruit, unlike a pellet, is juicy and pulpy. What's more, that's not just any juice inside it. There's a super spicy spice in there. Eating spicy things can be a fun way to jumpstart our taste buds. Perhaps the pigmen in this world like to spice things up as well. I do like that the ice pigmen kind of take the place of the um, ultra bitter spray. But I do need to remember that I have ultra spicy spray when I'm dealing with freaking bosses and stuff. Probably would have did a lot better against the uh, Snagrit had I used it. Anyway, let's check out the Recreation Recollection series. Tandem Trainer. Exercise is good for many things. It not only makes us stronger, it also helps us live healthier lives. So grab each of these exercise machine's handles and squeeze as every muscle strains at the effort. Take comfort knowing you're adding good things to your life. Sphere of Fuzzy Feelings. Put your hands on the surface of this sphere and don't be surprised if you find yourself awash in waves of fuzzy imagery. The surface texture recalls the warmth of a fall sweater, the feel of grass on a summer day, and the prickly thrill of a hard-fought victory. Orbital Communication Sphere. This communication sphere has fallen from its place orbiting the planet. Note how the bumpy surface was designed to maximize transmissions. A pity that it is no longer functioning. Hmm, perhaps a blow with a large stick could launch it back into orbit. And Orb of Destruction. There's something about this orb that makes one want to hit it with a stick in a moment of joyful abandon. Of course, such behavior is sure to spell trouble. I can see it now. The orb sent flying through the air, only to crash through the window of a neighboring home. Then the neighbor, failing to appreciate the gleeful innocence of the moment, unleashing a good old-fashioned tirade. No, no matter how fun it may seem, do not send this orb sailing through the air. Words to live by. And the Spring Crop series, just making sure... Ooh, we're almost done with these. Just checking, just making sure. My god, there's a lot of collections. Okay. Sunseed Berry. No matter how down you may be, these tasty bursts of joy are almost sure to turn your mood around. That's because they're happiness in fruit form. As the name implies, they plant seeds of sunny warmth in the middle of your heart, and there they grow, like an invasive species of happiness. Cupid's Grenade, a fruit both powerful and delicate. It reminds me of something I once read. Fate's tapestry is unraveled. Tomorrow weeps. Romance has fallen. Love is madness. To mend the rift between two cross lovers. This is the ultimate weapon in Cupid's arsenal. Searing Acid Shock. Try eating this fruit when it's green and unripe, and you'll end up with a mouthful of acidic burning. But give it time to ripen, and it will not only taste sweet on the tongue, but restore your energy and give you the endurance to realize great ambitions. Velvety Dream Drop. This fruit is a treat for the senses. Not only is its bright, tear-shaped form pretty to look at, its soft surface is also slightly velvety to the touch. Yes, two senses delighted by one fruit. Or as they say, two birds, one stone. Oh dear, speaking of stones, do not eat the seeds. They're quite poisonous. Yep, okay. Astringent clump. It takes a refined palate to appreciate all this fruit has to offer. It is at once sweet, sour, bitter, and even spicy. But those capable of pushing through the complex, slightly painful taste experience will find themselves greatly rewarded. Wayward Moon. From its artistic, cratered exterior to its delicately sweet interior, the Wayward Moon is elegance in fruit form, mild and aromatic. It would, uh, it, uh, it would make a wonderful gift for a friend or for someone who just needs a little pick-me-up. A cantaloupe is amazing. Just saying. And, well, like, regarding the other fruits, cherries, amazing. Strawberries, Overrated. Uh, grapefruit. I like grapefruit, but I can no longer eat it. Hi, I'm Sai. I like to consider myself an expert in habitat ecology. When I heard an unknown planet had been found, my first thought was, unknown planet means unknown creatures. Who could resist an opportunity like that? Not me, that's for sure. I applied to join the research task force as soon as I could. This probably seems random, but I have a request for the two of you. I'm currently researching the connection between the Pikmin and the whistles they respond to. I have loads of questions. Like, how many Pikmin can you lead at a time, and will the whistle still work on all your Pikmin if your squad increases? 
And that's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what I want to know. How about we just start out with you telling me when your squad gets bigger and we'll go from there. What? No way! You already leave that many Pikmin? Wow! Yep. I'm simply astonished at your abilities. Try taking on even more. Will do. But yeah, like, no allergic reaction or dietary things with grapefruit. It's just... Grapefruit has a tendency to neutralize medications, and that's something you really want to avoid doing. <laughs> anyway. New area to explore. Serene shores. According to the radar, there are several SOS signals in this new area. I will probably omit in one of them. It's not that bad of an area, but it can be tricky. I don't, I don't know how uh, effectively... Okay, if I break it down into like the Big Pool, Sandcastle, the ground... Maybe four days for this place. That's being generous. We have the return of Pearly Clam Clamps. I saw it in the distance. I mean, I've already dealt with it on my main file, but, you know, the original playthrough, but, you know, details. I just like seeing callbacks to Pikmin 1, you know? Oh, but also it's going to be rough here because I ain't got a lot of blue Pikmin. Hoo-cha! All right. So, this place is big. I will try to clear out this area today. This is definitely going to be a one-day undertaking, if not a day and a half. This too... I'm beginning to worry I might not have enough blue Pikmin, honestly. I have to really be careful. Alright, well... Let's go up the sand castle. New enemy. It's a little crap. Dude! It's tiny and big all over again. to rewind as strong but I will not I will refrain it was my own hubris I have no one to blame but myself I could have been patient but I wasn't
That was so close. I'll wait to grab that. That's the better way of dealing with them. I'll wait to grab those. I know there's more in the vicinity. Oh, you're just a crab, dude. There's not more boulder dudes in the vicinity? Was I mistaken? Got him. Okay. And now we can move the base here, and now we can focus on bringing those. Y'all can get started on that. Oh no, that's under me. Could have sworn there's... a hidden... Wow. I'm just gonna wait for them to dig that up. Actually, why am I waiting? I got the idler thing. Come on, dude. This ain't your first rodeo. So there's Pikmin idling. You come with me though.
I need blues. Yeah, this doesn't help. Oh. I forgot that this happens in the midday. Did the water just... The tide appears to ebb in the afternoon. That ought to make it a lot easier to explore now. When I first saw that happen, I lost my mind. I was like, oh my god, that is so freaking cool. No, um... Okay... I need 20! <laughs> and I can't get Ochi up here, so that's... That's fantastic. Oh boy. A blue onion submerged in water in it. Below grade discotheque. While traversing the darkness, I came upon a delightful yet nostalgic object of mystery. Powerful streams of light, nonstop beasts that assault the senses, a haze of smoke and music, and dancing pigment. It's like being back in the discotheques of my youth. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready. Uh, but I gotta. <laughs> okay. Let's roll. It is dark. Good job. It is very dark. So far, so good. Go ahead and dig all that out. I guess I could get Ochi started on that. Eh. Just let the Pikmin do it. There we go. And we wait. You you can just jump and make that Ochi, man. Come on, man. Use your legs. Yes. 
And there we go. There's the exit. Okay. We're done. We're, we're not wasting time here. We are not wasting time. Also, I, wait, the way Disco Tech is spelled is kind of throwing me off. Like, is that how it's supposed to be spelled? T H E Q U E? Like, I don't. We are not sending any uh, red Pikmin to fight you. Okay. There we go. Hey, what are y'all? No. Shoot. I'm up here trying to be all like cool and everything and expeditious. And y'all just like, nah, we don't wanna attack the gate. Be careful. God, it is so dark. Maybe I should have got the headlamp for Ochi. <laughs> but I mean, it's not pitch black. I can still, like, see, but it's crazy. Are we gonna leave you behind, Ochi? The creature, they're easy enough. I guess if you want to, you're, you're not moving that, though, like... Okay. And we wait. Y'all can get through the- oh my god. Gates are down. Ochi is still just waiting there. <laughs> I think that's it for this place, though. Just double checking. Yeah, I think that's it. Just wait for them to bring that back. Yep. That was a quick floor. Seriously, that's spelling like, uh, okay, I'm consulting the phone here. I don't know why I'm just fixated on this. D I S C O T. 
Oh, oh yeah, it is. Well, no, nah, because then there's a spelling that, like, T-E-Q-U-E instead of T-H-E-Q-U-E. Oh, just alternate spelling when you get into, like, English spelling and American and... Okay, fair enough. Oh, this... 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 This place is neat. And a puzzle. New candy pop variety. Okay, we just gonna have y'all dig there. Well, just everybody help out. Perpetual motion. Thank God there's floor. I just want them to get around so they can push that. You are braver than I. Wait. get up here oh no duh I I remember I remember and then no and what if I see Okay. I have equal amount, we'll just start with the yellows. Reintroducing Winged Pikmin! They can fly? The variety of Pikmin types never ceases to amaze me. Let me look these up. As your name suggests, wing Pikmin have sprouted wings and can fly. Of course, this means they can transport things by air and can save time that way. Their ground attacks are lackluster, but when it comes to aerial combat, they're unmatched. Huzzah! The sky is no longer out of our reach. We'll get much more exploring and rescuing done with the help of these Pikmin. Okay. Just making sure, yep, one hundo. Uh, 
and what awaits us on sub level 4. We're about to find out. I do see fire. I like how the flying Pikmin were like, yeah, we got this. Okay. A bubble boy. Honestly, you know what? Because I do not want to risk my Pikmin getting caught in a bubble and then, like, I have to throw Pikmin at them to get them out of the bubble. Not when we're dealing with these gaps. Or the abyss. Yeah, okay, like, the second headlamp would have made this area, like, way easier. Just keeping the Pikmin numbers even. I saw... I was about to scream that like my Pikmin were about to walk over the edge, but it was like, oh no, Th those were the wing Pikmin. <laughs> they fly. <laughs> we'll just go around. And there we go. Sizzling floor extinguish. Ochi, I'm gonna need you to enter there. And get the wings on that. Uh, and a couple red. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because I did not clear out. Ah, crap. Okay. I think we'll be fine. I don't think they're gonna go through the fire area. She was walking on it. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to wait for them to finish this. But now I know, because I never actually did try to walk across the flames after having, like, this all set up. So, yeah. like the fire protector on but fire protection rather nope nope f f finish your task wow. 
That was also a waste of ultra spicy spray. I mean, I just didn't want him to, like, flip him off into the abyss. because it's been working out for me. Okay. Think we're good. Yeah, we look to be good. Just wanted to make sure. All right. And now onward to the last floor. Mentally preparing myself, psyching myself up. I'm, I'm not ready. I am not ready. How much ultra spicy spray do I have? Eight? Oh, wow. I'm doing really good, actually. Um, none of these are going to be particularly helpful. All right. It's one of my most hated enemy types in these games. Oh no. Crap. God, it's confusing the Pikmin. Our best option in this situation is to defeat the creature responsible. I don't think you can unconfuse them, they're just. I don't understand how to, like, stop this. <laughs> Long legs are 
always the worst. I lost so many Pikmin, but no rewinds, no rewinds, unless it's like stuff on the previous day where, like, I, I'm like I'm not gonna rewind if a battle goes bad. It's just par for the course. I only rewind like in cases where I came close to finishing something in a day or something like that. But yeah, man. Ah. I lost so many Pikmin. Well, not so. Well, I don't know. Uh, 75, so. But that's 18 Pikmin I just lost. The long leg enemies are just they're they're rough and I I genuinely do not know how to deal with that boy. I was rewinding a lot on it on my OG playthrough because I just didn't understand. <laughs> it's like there's nothing you can do when they're confused. Like, the whistle does nothing. So what I ended up doing was just, like... I ended up just playing, like... Well, like a little punk. So every time he stopped moving, I would just whistle back all the Pikmin. It took about, like, five minutes to beat him, but... Hey, I didn't lose anything. So... Maybe I should have just did that here. Anyway, that's Sheba from Nichki, founder of Alien Academy's Planetary Science Club. This student was determined to see the stars along with her friends. No. Touching from the name of the school and club, this has to be one of the students that came with the teacher we rescued. Imagine being stranded like this at such a young age. Poor thing must have been downright terrified. Why? Hey. Like... I don't know, I also avoided watching, like, other people deal with the bosses and play through this game, but now I think I am just gonna look that one up, because I'm genuinely... Like, I guess it is just a case of slow and steady, like it is with the other long legs. Like, you can't really rush them, you just gotta, like, throw your Pikmin when you have, like, an opening, and then... Stay out of the way of the legs. Because when they stop moving, that's when they're going to shake. And then, like, by shaking them off, that stuns your pigment. But in this case, when this one stops moving, it does that little confusion gas. And you can't whistle it off. So it's like... <laughs> hey. Man, well, we got the Amplified Amplifier, Sphere of Beginnings, Relentless Spear, Turn of Events Track, Soul Reverberator, Olfactory Sculpture, Sphere of Truth, Sphere of Vitality, and Thrill Ride Track. Not the best, not the best. But I think I might be done with everything in the sand ca Well, I mean, outside of the blue onion that I unfortunately can't get. Right now, at least. I'm definitely going to need it for one cave in particular. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to have to bite the bullet and go back to uh, Sunspeckled Terrace sooner rather than later, because I'm going to unironically need blues. <laughs> Regardless, let me just wrap up like opening this up and clearing out a little of the bottom area now that the tide's down. I 
don't know if I can do th Wait. No, I think I can. Well, Seafloor Resort, what beautiful scenery. When I'm surrounded by water, I can't help but feel at one with the sea. Sally, there aren't many places to land in here, so non-swimming Pikmin aren't able to do much. At least I gotta pretend I was on vacation for a little while, right? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. This isn't the one I was thinking of where I'm going to need blue. But I think... There are blue Pikmin I can recruit here. You want to really be careful when dealing with these jelly floats. Because when they freeze, they instantly die. Don't quote me on this, but I, I mean, well, I was going to say, like, I believe, like, the pigment that are inside them instantly die, too, but you just saw me get those blues. But I think it's because they were wild pigment that they didn't die. I've had instances where pigment died while inside a jelly float. And it fell because of the ice pigment. So I don't know if maybe they, like, drowned? Or the... I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. Just come on. You can face the other way. Alrighty. I don't know if the Ice Pigment will be able to help them take that back. Nope. Yeah, the Ice Pigment... I just feel are weird. I mean, I guess you can throw them in water without them dying, but they can't cross water? I don't know, part of me just feels like they should at least be able to swim or float. I mean, well, I guess they are floating, but details. Oh my god, this swim is so slow. <laughs> Also, just nectar up. I right, guess we're going up here then. then they'll instantly spin that around when they're done. Oh, okay. Well, 
anything else out in the distance. Sprinkler is now off. If I'm going to have 19 blues, I might scream. I am going to scream. I mean, at least I can come back here to get wild Pikmin if needed, because that is another thing. Um, you can re-enter caves to find wild Pikmin again to fill out your numbers, just in case. But one moment. All right, and back. Alright, well, we're gonna leave Ochi behind here to take out this jelly float. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why, I just don't really dig this cave. Like, it's just kind of meh? At least we got a flower lip right here. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this place, but I just don't care for it. I wouldn't even say it's a particularly hard area. It's just kind of... Blah. Oh, maybe I'll appreciate it more as I'm navigating through, but... I mean, at least it looks amazing, because we're in, like, a little aquarium thing. The water looks great. But, like... It's just something about this place that I'm not quite feeling. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Like, this... When I first played through here, this was one of the only caves where I genuinely just felt bored. And even the boss here is just blah. The Ochi can help out, but I got the blues on me, so I'm not about to subject them to the cold. Can wait for the next cycle. Actually, screw that. Taking him out first. I mean, the bubbles are less deadly here than they were in the previous place, but, eh, they're still annoying. I really don't know why I don't like this place. Like, I'm... I don't, I don't know. Y'all can assist. That went poorly. Oh, 
I also wasn't really thinking of coming here today when I started the day, so otherwise I would have had the better swimming for Ochi. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna need to take down them dead gates. You can wait. Alrighty then. Slightly more dangerous jelly float. Okay, I just, I just had to make sure I didn't lose any Pikmin. <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll let the blues take you. And a blue for that. Oh, well, if you're just going to take that, then... Okay. And we have s oh, what well, running the ID now? Isn't it interesting? This one's not from the task force. Mugs from Inahi. Popular for her brave reporting style, she was approached by a director to work on a project about this strange new planet. Wait just a minute. This face, it's so very familiar. Oh, I know who this is. She's that popular television reporter. I've long been an admirer of her work. But hold on, what's she doing here? So you're a big fan, Russ? Oh my god, okay, alright. We're gonna be careful here, but then again, I mean, if they go in the water, I can just call them back. I don't have nearly enough to freeze this place. You need a hundred. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. Dweevils. Why? Why? Oh my god, and they're caustic. Okay. And yeah, like, charging into them doesn't really work, because then it's like, by the time it takes you to recover, they're already, like... Oop. Back underneath a, uh... Treasure. Or enemy corpse. Y'all really not gonna give me any more blues? Y'all really just gonna hold me off at 19? That's rude. That's mean. There we 
go? And all fences have been lowered. Is that the last thing? I think it is. Well, alrighty then. Yep. Maybe I was also just thrown off by the overall difficulty of this place, because it's not... I mean, it doesn't really feel like it fits the level of difficulty, but I mean, I guess you do need blue Pikmin to navigate through here. I don't know. Like, I, I, I just don't know, but I guess... Sometimes that's just how it is. Like, for whatever reason, sometimes the vibes just won't vibe. There we go. I am waiting. Hello, crab. Here comes big crab. Come on up in the sand. Come on up on the sand. Come on up on the sand. It's close enough. <laughs> I'm gonna need more blues. There are some underwater. But these enemies are also like. There can be casualties. They're not free. They're not free. So I was about to go in with everybody, like, no, no. Thank God, because I was getting a little worried. lie though like the water effects in this game just, I'm, I'm feeling like Mario Wii U the Miiverse user this game has some good water I, 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 I could just stare at this water 
I mean, I am staring at this water. I am so grateful y'all took him out in the nick of time because I was going to scream. Well, now I have 20 blues. I mean, at least I don't have to worry about them drowning like that. This place is... Indeed safe. Okay. you can do that. Meanwhile... Oh, there's not much I can do. There we go. Okay. So we got all this done. I just want to go ahead and take care of this body too. can get started on the bridge. I'll get those teeth last. Jelly float. Oh, they're still carrying the raw material. I was like... Are those just some random idle Pikmin? Like, no. You know what, you're just gonna have to stay right there. <laughs> I think Ochi Ochi sl uh, slow swimming isn't 
doing me any favors here either, but that's also on me, because I was like, yeah, I will save my uh, pop drive. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oh no, I can just whistle you from right here. Yeah, that's what I get. Well, go ahead and get the toothbrush. New gear is now available, let's go. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm missing anything else here. Yep, we're done. I'm just gonna let him finish up the raw material here. You can never have enough. And the fact that I only have 25 blues? 22? Twenty-four. Okay. Oh, well, no, 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 and then them. So that's twenty-eight. Okay. I will probably be playing it safe on the boss then. And only using my, uh, ice. Because I need to make sure I can get that onion, because... I will desperately need blue pigment. <laughs> this is non-negotiable at this point. Like, this needs to happen. And yeah. That's the boss. Just a slightly larger... Uh... Wally Hop. Oh, there's a candy pop out uh, here. Okay, well. Shoot, why not? But yeah, it's just a slightly larger Wally Hop, and it doesn't do anything special. It just hops. Duh. And, um,. That's it. <laughs> no new attacks, it just hops. I mean, because you're fighting it on sand, like, every time it lands, it creates, like, a pool of water. Where, if you came down here with any other color Pikmin, which if you did, damn, you brave. But, like, when you're only dealing with blue and ice, Ice Pikmin, which are already blue themselves, but semantics. But yeah, when you're dealing with these two kinds of Pikmin, it's like, it's not that bad. Oh, well, there's blues over there, too. All right. So anyway. Let's go. I'll wait for you to land. Well, that was quick. Damn, you got the same amount of HP as a regular Wally Hop? That Alright. I didn't lose any Pikmin the first time I fought them, but... 
Did I even use Ultra Spray like that? That was anticlimactic as hell. Well, fishing rope. Just leaving y'all behind because I got Pikmin to pluck over here too. Hey, at least my oh, I thought they were underwater. I don't know why I thought they were. I need glasses. Even though I am already prescribed glasses and I should be wearing them when I drive, but details. Lastly, the ID info. Keish from Nietzsche. Member of the Planetary Science Club at Allian Academy. Believes the stars are inextricably linked to the ore she collects. Hello? Allian Academy, Planetary Science Club. Ah, oh, she's one of the students traveling with that teacher. There still may be more of them out there. We need to keep searching. Well, me thinks that's everything here. This went better than expected. And also just kind of meh. <laughs> Are there any other sprouts just hanging around? I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to pull out that onion, but I'll try. And we found Greed Inducement Device, Brush of Foolishness, Monster Teeth, Mystery Squish Fish, three of them, three Spirit Swords, Universal Rubber, well, rubber Cutie, two Planetary Rubber Cuties, Trap Lid, Dapper Blob, two Octoplus, Sussy Berry, Maternal Sculpture, False lollipop and two maestros of flavor. Still need to have sushi one day. You know what? This day went. It went pretty well, went pretty well. So I guess on the next day, I don't know, I'll probably save the big pool of water for like last. Yo, give me that flarlic boy. Give me that flarlic. My God, it feels nice to have blue Pikmin. Oh, no, all right, we are not getting that blue onion today. All right, well, that is definitely how I'm gonna start off the next day. All right. So I guess, yeah, like, like I said, this is definitely gonna be one whole day. And this can be, like, the sand area can be two. I might be able to do this in three? No, 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 I won't, no, I won't. Because even though this looks small, there, there, there's a... I don't know, if I can average a quarter a day, then I'll be fine. Like, I did 26% today, so. I'll have a plan for next time. We did well. We did well.
I also need this to hurry up so I can stop recording and turn on the AC because it is apparently 92 degrees outside and that heat is seeping in and oh my god, I am dying. <laughs> Hey, three people say, okay, not bad. We got that sparklium outside of the stuff that was in the cave. We also found, no, that was in the cave. Cave, 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 cave. Emperor Whistle, thrill ride truck, was that in the cave? Stellar Extrusion and Fish Bed Snack. God, I got a lot of sparklium too. Yeah, the Pikmin numbers I lost, it was... It was a war of a day, it was a war. I don't get it. Why do we fight? Why does everything have to be a competition? Ooh. Is something the matter, boss? Uh. Nah, just a passing thought I had while watching that Dandori battle. What, from two days ago? <laughs> it just strikes me as sad. Here we are, all living together and sharing the same universe. We should be friends, not foes. Didn't Makes know. sense. But then shouldn't we and, uh, you be friends with all the creatures of the universe as well? Goodbye. Creatures? No, no, that's an entirely different situation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a new day. Yes, it is. And we're going to get started on this new day next time. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Pikmin 4. Goodbye.